What's going on everybody? And in this video, I wanna talk about autopilot and how it works. I was actually at a Tesla meetup a few weeks ago and people had autopilot, but had no idea how it worked or how it functioned. So I'm gonna make this as quick as possible and we're just gonna go through uh, how to turn it on, how to override it. And there's like different ways uh, to do that. And I'm gonna take you through everything right now. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing you should note when turning on autopilot is there is a little steering wheel here. If the steering wheel does not pop up, you cannot actually turn on autopilot. It just won't work. As you can see, it disappears. So autopilot wouldn't turn on there, and now it is back. So it will come and go. There will be stretches while you're driving where the little steering wheel in the top left does not actually come up. Uh, if the steering wheel is up, here, I'll do it when it's not up. See how it flashes yellow? Uh, it just says, hey, autopilot is uh, not available right now. And when it is available, you take the shaft and you can double tap it down and it should pop up uh, soon enough, hopefully. There it is. I double tapped it and as you can see, uh, autopilot is engaged. That's how to turn on autopilot. Press it down once rather than twice. You have tack, uh, which is kind of different. It just maintains your speed uh, while you still do all the steering. So. Autopilot is more, it does the steering and it controls the speed. So, all right, so I'm in an area where I actually wanna use autopilot. I double tap uh, the stick down and autopilot is enabled. You can see it's set to max 100. I can tap the plus here, minus, and that'll just control the speed. Uh, I can also do it on the right part of the wheel. I can just dial that little toggle up and you can see my uh, max speed limit for autopilot is increased. Uh, you can see the cars around my car and my speed limit set to 112 and it'll keep driving until it sees another car uh, coming that is slower. Something to note, you can actually press the max 100 and it'll actually slow down your car. So I can hit max 100, the car will start slowing down and the new speed limit set to 100. But that's cool and all, but how do you take over? Well, there's actually three different ways you can take over. One is you can take the stick and you can actually just tap it up and autopilot is disengaged. Uh, the other way is you can tap the brake and autopilot is disengaged or uh, you can also just move the wheel and autopilot is disengaged. The one thing to note, when moving the wheel, uh, tack comes on, which is that mode I was talking about earlier. So the way you do your distance is you push the wheel left or right and that's your distance. And that's like car lengths away. So right now this is set to one and you can go all the way up to seven. So that's pretty much all there is to autopilot. By far my favorite feature of the car, I will have better videos in terms of like footage using autopilot on sharp turns. Uh, I wanna talk about changing lanes with autopilot, uh, parking, all, all sorts of stuff. So guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and comment on the video, and I will see you guys next time.